Oh, there hey God, we go. You recorded. Should I agree? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Well, you know, obviously, uh, this is not live yet. You know, I, I do post. But um, I guess about the series, it, like I said, oh, kind of. The post request. OK, could you cut out that part? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it was just stemmed from my backstage uh, photographic series and then pandemic hit. So I, I kind of thought I would add a new la layer of uh, my investigation into artisans. Uh, at the time is performing live performance uh, artisans, uh, not just musicians, but also I, I got into comedians as well and actors. And um, But with the, this conversation series, I, I dove into more fine artists as well and musicians and across the country with uh, Zoom. Uh, so I'm just really fascinated with uh, the creation uh, process and, and creative process on all sorts of levels. I just like me meeting interesting people because- uh, Well, meet the beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So- uh, I do them all. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. And so it, it's fascinating to, it'll be, I hope it, this will turn into a fascinating discussion on how you manage all these projects and, and like- Well, what, what else, what are the other options aside from fascinating? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could just be a like, really a really boring conversation. <laughs> well, actually, I've had like weird, oh, like I know, I know, twenty-minute combos where I haven't had to. Right, it was like, like no back and forth going on, so it was like I have to cut it short because there's no oh, rapport. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like okay, you know. so he, so that's that's start with. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was just joking. Oh no worries. <laughs> Uh, so where does your creative uh, journey begin, I guess? Like, how you know, uh, for me, I, I you know, in the last couple of years, I've found my identity as an artist, but, you know, I'm, I'm 36, so I'm late bloomer. But did you always, always know you are an artist, you know? Uh, did you always pursue creative paths from uh, kind of child, childhood? Or? <laughs> well, I mean, for me, I think it was just, it's it's literally like there was just nothing there was no other way mm. just there was just a hundred percent no other way from the very beginning like there was just like it was not like it wasn't like do you want to it was just how what i did just to exist like that and i still do it like that that's why you see i do so many different things but i do so many different things because i'm interested in so many different things and i'm uh inspired all the time like mm. i don't have like the well now i don't want to say it because it, it hasn't happened to me but i don't have like a lack of inspiration nor do i seek it out yeah so, yeah you know, i mean it's, it's always kind of existed inside of me and since i was a little kid but but that doesn't that also doesn't at all um lessen the fact that i was always a thinker very early on mm. so i was always somebody who was like just very intense and then express myself in different ways so writing is my first and and in everything that i do it's writing mm. people go, can come to my art show they get except like when i dance so that's not writing but you know the music is writing and the films is everything is kind of writing you know the art shows are writing everything has like a real focus on writing and that's what i do um the most the most i do is writing and i always imagine myself when i was younger that i would be a writer so i um I have hopes that at some point in my life, um, if I get to live that long, that you know that my existence could dwindle down to just writing. Mm. But we'll see because I express myself in so many ways, so it's really hard for me to even control myself. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, How about that pillow, though. What's up with that pillow? What pillow? <laughs> Did a uh, pillow disappear? <laughs> uh, um well did you actually study like art or did you formally study or you just uh, was it just well, intrinsic funny. or I, I know it's this whole study art thing um i didn't i didn't take any classes in anything really much throughout my whole life um yeah. like i didn't i didn't take dance classes but in my teens i was you know known for being a performance dance artist so um, I didn't take singing lessons or music lessons, but I write music in my head and then I sing it straight. So, you know, it's like everything with me is kind of, everything is in my head. It yeah. all, all, that's where it all happens. So, um, 
yeah, it wasn't about studying. I did study, I did, I kind of grew up in a, in a uh, rough environment. So school when I was younger was more like, uh, just this totally different experience of education. But as I got older and I started studying, and I think I've been studying my whole life really, um, as I got older, I studied psychology and writing, and then I started studying filmmaking. Mm. There are certain things you just have to know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, just like it's like, you know, like technical shit that you just want to kind of like get through or understand. But um, no, I'm not like a, I'm not trained. Mm. I never thought like, oh, I'm gonna be an artist. You know yeah. that that thought never happened. It was just what I did always, and always what I continue to do. You know, it's I don't know. It's like walking or anything else. You know. Totally. Like, um, yeah, no, it's, it's just, a, it's just you, you know, yeah. uh, you know, just, and it's like, and, yeah. and also it's like nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then like, what should I start? What should I share? Like, then I'm a hoarder too. So I had, I'm like, I create nonstop, but then I hoard Yeah. and I don't want to share it. I just want to keep it. So are they what, what do you generally hoard like found materials or like uh books records uh antiques or oh, oh, oh i hoard everything I'm, i mean I'm, I'm a i'm an official hoarder so i hoard everything but oh. i also hoard my work mm. so i hoard like there it's it's just like a process i have to go through before i share something it's yeah i hoard things and then you know even if i share something like i don't want to i don't i like i could share an artwork but i don't want to sell it because i want to keep it yeah yeah you know what i mean like everything is like i i want to keep everything so um so i try to manage that so that it's not ridiculous but at any given time i could start on three different types of careers with full content to support <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so even when i did like when i did the when i recorded these songs and i did the art exhibition you know three months ago I'm, I'm also really into uh raising awareness for things that i really care about yeah and like three months ago i was going to write a paper on the indian variant that was you know that was percolating and i had a lot of fears of, of it coming to town and you know taking over and i was going to write a paper on it. i was like okay i'm either going to do that or i'm going to release my songs <laughs> Yeah. And, and, and you know what? I was really happy because I chose to release the songs and I am finding so much pleasure in that. So much pleasure in, in just not being somebody who's constantly talking about stuff that people don't want to hear about, you know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> it's like nobody wants to hear about like the Delta variant and you should still wear your mask. But people, you know, they want to hear about like, come on now, baby. Come on now, baby. You know, it's a totally different thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can like, you know, start your kind of like, uh, you know, uh, start your research and your papers on the side, but, you know, um, you know, release yeah, your music. Some papers are really, they're, you know, they're more like in depth, you know, yeah, so you yeah. really kind of devote time to it. So when was the first piece of art you kind of released to the world, like from your subconscious yeah. to the public? Like including the plays I would do with my kid, like my friends when I was a kid. Like, well, her well, name is Lola. She <laughs> was a show like that. Or, well, I mean, <laughs> we could we could dive deep into that, <laughs> but I, I was kind of specifically talking more about showing, uh, you know, pieces yeah, of work. No, yeah, uh, uh, kind of, uh, just get you. Okay. Um, the first time that I ever show, well, when I was a teenager, I uh, used to. I was like a performance dancer, so you know, which meant at that time, like there were certain clubs and they were like, you know, the most amazing clubs with all the best people, like, you know, artists, it was very like great scene, you know, fun, like really fun New York City. Yeah. And, um, you know, if you were like one of the dance, you know, the great or fun or exciting dance or whatever dancers, I guess, I don't know how to categorize it. Um, you, you know, you'd have your spot and you go there and you dance and that's what you did. It was like, so, that was the first like kind of, you know, kind of dancing in a spot, dancing on a stage, like that type of thing. And that dancing is like, you know, completely natural to me. So that's just like super, super makes sense. You know what I mean? It's like just easy and awesome and fun. So that's, that's kind of like the first 
first stuff that I really started to share on a public level, like where people could see me outside of my house. Yeah, yeah. I'm also a hermit, so that's, <laughs> that's another <laughs> thing. <laughs> Not that often that people see me out of the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, so that was like the beginning of it. And then like art show wise, um, I put on a show at, at a place called the Shooting Gallery in the West Village. Mm. And I really love that show. It was like very, it was my stencil series and my experimental film work. So everything was kind of coming together and it really made this awesome vibe. And I was really so excited about it. And I loved it. And um it was really meaningful. And then I started making experimental films. And then when I started making experimental films, um, I got really, I mean, I don't, wait, hold on. Let's just, let me just back it up for one second because just to categorize it. So it's like a little bit easier, but so in my teens, I did, you know, I would do the performance dance. In my twenties, I went to college. I put myself through college and I styled different people. Hmm put myself through college and those people are like just so many people you know like I somehow became a whole part of that thing yeah yeah and um so that's you know that's the Bowie stuff and Trent Reznor and Chloe Savigny and you oh. know all the people that were like you know everything that was happening then you know like when I did Bowie I went from Anthony Kiedis and that was like me getting sucked back into working on styling again because it wasn't an, um, on my agenda but um I went from like Anthony Kiedis to Bowie to Trent Reznor, to Chris Cornell, back to Trent Reznor. You know mm. what I mean? I said this whole like bam, 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 in like a short period of time. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I was like doing that whole, I was part of that whole um, aesthetic really, you know, like part, you know, working with a lot of different people on aesthetics. So, um, so that was like my early twenties. And then I started to make movies and do my art shows. And that's, that's where I really started to feel much more at home but then everything always kind of like everything, it's all part of everything, you know? Like I did an interview recently and I said, it's like the Jennifer Elster timeline, you know what I'm saying? Like what, like, I don't know, like I did that and then I did that. But before yeah. that, I was always writing poems. So, you know, yeah. um, and then I started making movies and, um, and doing art. And then I made a feature film and that got some recognition that kind of like helped me to like meet more people in film. And then I started working on my wood series hmm. where I would take people into the woods and I did that for like 15 years or something like that. And, and along that way, I got really lost <laughs> and went through a lot of shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, you know, started doing my art shows and it's all kind of like everything, I don't know. It's just all, and you know, writing music and doing this and doing that. And then, and then I kind of move things to get, you know, like move things like, and then it's like, oh, that's going to go out now, or that's going to go out now. Hmm. But um, there's always a lot of work in the balance, put it that way. I could, I could literally work for the rest of my life hmm. and never create anything else and constantly <laughs> to like put out, um, work hmm. and i can assume most of your work has been self uh produced initially you released it without like i don't know a, a rap or a, a middle you know oh, like am i normally independent yeah yeah or uh, well that depends you know what i mean like what like yes in some sort like when i was doing uh like the whole styling thing i you know obviously, you know, I was doing like the covers of like magazines and stuff like that. So that, you know, that was uh, not independent. That was working with people and I had an agent. I guess I've always had agents too. And then um, when I did the Woods thing, I did it independently, but it, it costs a lot of money over the years to, you know, keep making it. So I have, you know, different investors, um, like, you know, amazing people who, you know, yeah. believed in me like Bernie Newcomb who wrote the code for E-Trade and he's blind you know like just like amazing awesome people that get behind work which is great I'm so happy for that um and uh so you know yeah that's independent it's 100 percent independent it's under my production company but yeah. it's also with the support of other people helping me you know oh, of course yeah I I uh yeah, I, sorry, I just hit a blank there. I just uh, zonked out. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, um, 
I guess, yeah, that was what I was leaning towards, like more like self-produced and, you know, and, and then uh, you kind just of controlling me and tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, as you know, as 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 much as possible, you know what I mean? For as long as possible. And, you know, that's that's a that's just fortunate, you know. Yeah. People make that people afford you those possibilities, you know, so yeah. it's amazing when you have them. Well, could you uh, talk about your new or your, your film series there? Um, the film when, series or the art series or the music series? Which one do you want to, which one do you want to do? I'm, I'm curious about the, the, the uh, I believe it, it, it's been like, it, uh, your film series, I guess, yes. Uh, in, um, Curious, when when do you release that, or are you? Is it segments? Oh, that's of, a really uh, good question. Yeah. Um, because I'm always like, when I, you know, a few months ago, I was thinking, okay, do I want to do the woods now? Mm. Do I want to do the music, or do I want to like really focus on uh, the variant uh, from India? That's what they called it at the time. Now it's called yeah, Delta. yeah, um, and. The Wood series is something, you know, I filmed that for 15 years and I filmed so many people. I mean, they're, they're not, the people who are listed are like the people that have been, there's like name recognition there. Cause that's, you know, people are like, oh, okay, that person, that person, that person. But there are so many other people in it. Hmm. Um, you know, so many like thinkers and just all just different, different people from different periods of life and really kind of insane people too, you know, yeah, like just yeah. fantastic. Um, so I thought, you know, oh, do I want to share this at this point? And then it was just, it's too mass. It was too massive. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like once I step into that, it's, you know, it's going to last a while, you know, it's like, it's one of those work. It's like, it's a huge project. Mm. So, um, but so now I feel like. You know, I'm sharing the music and I'm I'll write my paper and do kind of all of these different things. And then I'm hoping, hoping to um, start to kind of integrate it. Hmm. Oh, no. Karen Black's birthday, Karen Black, who's an actress, is in the film series and I've done a lot of work with her. And her, uh, the, her birthday just passed, but her, the day that she passed is coming up on August 8th. And I thought, oh, maybe I could like start to share some things and start it that way. You know, that hmm. would be like a nice way to... Kind of bring it into the equation without overwhelming myself yeah, yeah. it's you know it it's like i don't know hundreds of hours you know oh what the, what can you talk about like the premise and or the thesis of uh the series or the film project um what are you trying um, to investigate very, very initially simple it's like you know i invited people into the woods and after that i really don't talk to anybody about what and what any specific person's experiences like, or mm. um, any of the details. That's kind of, that's that's mm. what happens. Yeah, okay. So that's what you're gonna have to wait and say. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm like, you, you kind of have me just wanting more or just to see anything <laughs> well, about it, so. It's, it's, it's a lot of, it's so many different things, mm. but it, uh, it was a, an absolutely beautiful, um, and scary and crazy and wild journey through that film series. That was, it was just really something incredible. So I'm always hoping to be able to um, put that forward. You know, yeah. that's, that's what you want. You want to be in the right mindset to put it forward in the way that it, it should be presented, you know, hmm. because it's about humanity and that's a huge thing, you know. Now, did you have did you have any uh, when you initially had the the seedling of the idea? Did you imagine it going like fourteen years? Like of you know? No, no. And I actually I remember because I was at the time I was kind of roped into doing a Hollywood film, which didn't work out, and that was definitely the best thing that ever happened. Um, and um, and I was really kind of going further into the woods, and I remember thinking like, well, I'm not going to be one of these directors that takes like forever <laughs> to put out another <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, I always when you say that. Now that I said that, I, you know, earlier I said, oh, I've never had a, you know, a loss of inspiration in my life. 
Now that I said it. Yeah, yeah that's true. Be like, okay, Rob, burn that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just I, I won't put it out in the world for yeah. you. You know, cut that one part out, okay? Just be like this blank. I'll be like at your door, like uh, yeah. Listen, could you could you cut that one part out? It'll be a choppy cut, you know, and just be like this random. We, somebody could obviously know it was just a missing chunk of time in between con exactly. the conversation. Like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> just My like is editing. You know, I'm constantly editing, so I I know I know about yes about. Well, that's why I try to just keep things as real as possible and just like generally toss it up. I generally don't look at any of these when they go up. I'm like, I don't like looking at myself. I know, um, I know. And I'll have to look through it though, because I'm so, I'm a perfectionist and I'm like really like so specific about everything hmm. um, that I will have to watch it from beginning to end. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, like me, I'm just like, oh, on to the next one, you know, or like a, yeah. Like no, I have to, I have to, I have to like go through everything, process it. Cause I actually take talking to people kind of serious. Yeah. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? It's all kind of, everything's kind of serious in a certain way. Well, how do you like for, for myself, I've, I've kind of struggled with like identity of what to call myself because I have so many interests like, uh, you know, during the pandemic I've been painting as well, you know, and photography but i never want to call myself just a photographer like how do you i i find it very okay, well that's what i say artist yeah I say, yeah but i say thinker first because really it's like what i'm contributing whether people can uh you know understand it or not uh meaning that you know depending on which part of the which aspect of my life you're involved in to know the degree as to what i do things i you know i say thinker because that's what I, I I call things out way ahead of time like that's yeah. what I do like I'll, I'll, I could I, I'll, I could be working on something I'm tell you like what's gonna happen six months down the road you know what I mean because that's just how I am that's how my brain works yeah uh, but um but then you know I use artists because artists for me is the easiest because it kind of like it's like everything yeah you know what I mean like it's even weird sometimes like I would be like, oh, I'm a musician. I'm like, I don't know, am I me? Yeah, well, I write music and I sing songs and I write the music and I sing it. So, you know, like, yeah, that's a musician. But, you know, if someone said like, like, it's funny because I was doing performance art for a while in like 2017, I did like a number of them. And someone would be like, oh, you're a performance artist. And I was like, oh, like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that's just what I'm doing now. So, yeah. Like tomorrow, I'm not a performance artist, you know? You're just an artist because- Yeah, yeah. I'm just constantly just doing different things. And, you know, I've had the good fortune um, to be able to express, you know, what I want when I want to express that, you know? So that, that goes a long way. And, you know, I, I have to be careful because I'm a very sensitive person too. So sometimes mm. it could just be like something I see, you know, that's going on in the world and that will just completely pull me. You know what yeah. I mean? Then it could be like a year later. You know what yep. I'm saying? It's like, oh, there went a year of my life. Like, you know, talking about net neutrality. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and does anybody care? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a different question. Yeah. Um, that's a that larger, like, so annoying. Pandemic, you know, uh, annoying, question yeah. like, Look, does playing. anybody care? Yeah. Like, wandering out in the world i'm like it doesn't seem like most people care <laughs> you know like, it's like doo -doo -doo, you know we're just living this like late capitalistic kind of lifestyle you know and like have we done anything really to you know attempt to change you know our our ways and our our consumption and, and you know even with these the the climate changes you know climate just going more extreme Crime. I know it's terrible. It's it's so it's so totally um, yeah, so totally so many things. So heartbreaking on one hand, and also uh, frustrating, and you know, it's just so many things, so many things. It's it's sad. It's just sad. It's well, do you sad. do you use any of that set? I assume like for me, like when I'm like dealing with all that too, like the external angst and stuff. I just put it into like my, yeah. for me, it's painting. I'm like, I, I love to just paint, like just neo-expressionist kind of straight from my subconscious kind of uh, 
uh, uh, minds that are just raw emotion into my paintings. And, and um, do you do kind of similar, like you use that kind of like that, that, that emotional, like external emotional kind of, um, I, I don't know, energy to put back into your work and in, into a more of a, a positive light or oh yeah well, i don't know if i put it back and it's positive oh yeah well yeah yeah true I mean, not always i, I think I'm yeah, a, I mean, does it, positive does it, in the context of producing concerns come out of my work of course mm. you know yeah. what i mean i'm a concerned yeah. person i'm i'm somebody who is i'm worried about things you know what i mean i'm not sitting around like i'm, I'm you know definitely like i'm worried about a lot of things so that always comes out of my work like i did a show called well, two shows that I did, which one was the retrospective of an extroverted recluse, which was mm. um, included like a lot of different works through my life, but then also like really was talking about like the threat of, you know, just everything that's going on in the world. And then after that, I did a show called the Wake the Fuck Up show. And that was very like in your face saying exactly what the fuck is going on. And yeah just having it right there, you know, like, bam, this is, this is what I see, this is what I see. And all, like somebody described it, <clears throat> I thought it was very interesting as predictive art, you know? Like it tells mm. you what's gonna happen down the road way ahead of time. And I thought that was a really good description because I do that. And, but because I, because, because I think like that, it's also very frustrating because then when I'm kind of going off on, you know, a rant of any sort, you know? People don't really understand what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, like, that's yeah. hard to understand. Maybe that's why I didn't do the the paper, because I was like, "There's no point," because I'm still going to end up in this spot where I am right now, and everyone's going to be in the same exact spot. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, people are still not going to be taking it serious. They're still not going to understand the, you know, the um, the calamity of of it all. You know, of like. Well, you know, I, I can go into that, but I, I don't think that's what your show was about. But um, <laughs> well, you could. I mean, like, I, I, I'm, I, I could go on my my own rants uh, regarding I know, I know. humanity, so, so and we could we could have I, like I, I two hours. People. I want people to take care of themselves, and I want them to keep their mask on. You know, I think yeah. it's important. I think that was a huge mistake, and I wish that it didn't happen, and I wish that people would continue to do it. I think that people that are like. You know, I mean, I have my own opinions, but, you know, live indoor shows and shit like that is fucking insane as far as I'm concerned. Like, hell no. Like, all those people breathing, like, coming at you. You're up there. You got, like, you know, all these people just like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how much can you ask for a vaccination and your immunity to fucking hold up against, you know? That's, that's true. Like it's disgusting, but I that's how I think, you know. I think about like that about everything. So well, I was shocked that the like the Foo Fighters had the, the Madison Square Garden show, the it was a full house, you know, I, I, uh I just a couple weeks you, ago. The foresight on that to me is like I don't I don't understand it. But you know what? It's like everyone has, you know, you know, hopefully everyone, you know, stays healthy and doesn't have any of the ramifications of that but i would i would suggest to be extra careful right now for sure yeah. for sure it's like you know I've, I've been writing about the efficacy with the vaccines against the indian variant mm. uh, i say indian just because that's how it started off the Delta yeah variant. yeah yeah um and um you know like that was like three and a half months ago do you know what i'm saying you know, and saying like begging, like, no, don't take the mask. Don't take the mask mandate away, you know? Yeah. Um, but then people can think that I'm extreme, you know? And you have people like, I, that's me. And then you have the complete opposite side. That's like, what are you talking about? It's over, it never existed, you know, so. Yeah, we do live in this weird world of just fact versus fiction and people just believing their yeah. own their own fictional uh, realm, you know? So we're hyper just funnelized because, you know, um we i don't know i i guess you know we we could start yeah, with even if you're right there are still so many people that will swear that you're wrong you know what i'm saying so that's really bizarre you know it's like you know it was like but here is the evidence yeah you know, that thing you write a paper you got it takes time Here's yeah. the, this is this is all of the facts and if i if i piece the other facts for you on on just covid period like Forget about it. It's 
like you, I, I can blow people's minds on a daily, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, look, I just blew your mind. You never knew that about that, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, you can yeah, just tweet out little facts every day, day about that. Oh, um, constantly. Yeah. Yeah. The, the other problem is that there's so many people talking. Everybody wants to have something to say. It's like, okay, but we can't all talk. Like, let the people that know what they're talking about talk. I'm not saying, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, mm. but, you know, there's a track record there. You know what I'm saying? Like we all have our own track records for accuracy. Yeah, yeah. And it's something that, you know, you have to pay attention to because it's real. It's, it either exists or it doesn't exist. You can't, you know, you can't, you can't foe a track record. Oh, I mean, you could, but. Yeah, I, I do find it disturbing that, you know, people are refuting hard science, you know, yeah. and, you know, in, in the flat earthers and you know, like, where's it, come, you know, all this, yeah. I feel like we're kind of in a dark age again. Like, I know, it's weird. Yeah. Well, and also, um, you know, it's like it's like with the vaccine, right? Like, I, I mean, I got the I got the vaccine, and you know, I think it's, you know, I mean, would I prefer not to have to get a vaccine? And COVID didn't exist. Yes, I would prefer that. But I got the vaccine because I'm I'm being safe. Yeah. And um, and hopefully, you know, that's the right decision in the future. But I, you know. I'm also, I'm not, I'm not an extreme person. So I don't, I don't work in extremes where it's like, okay, but well I got it. And that means that everybody has to get, and it's absolutely mandatory. It's like, some people are not going to be up to get that. And that's, yeah. that's like just part of the equation. Everything has to kind of, you know, everyone's feelings have to be brought into the equation and we all have to kind of deal with one another because mm. we're sharing the space, you know? So, um, so when people are even on the opposite side of me, I'm, you know, of course I have my own opinions, but I don't like hard judge things out to the point where it's like, you know, well, you know, they have to do this or they have to do that. I mean, it might get to the point where you have to be vaccinated, just like everything, like you have to be vaccinated for X, Y, and Z to do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but, you know, everyone's entitled to their own feelings with things, you mm. know, so, and that's real. So you can't, can't take away what's real, but hopefully, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully people will pay attention to, to uh, intelligent people and be able to move forward. And, and the intelligent people aren't always the people that you think they are. And that's, that's just what it is. That kind of brings up uh, kind of wrapping back into art. Um, how do you, you know, distribute your message as an artist to a different population because you know a lot of uh, you know the art crowd has probably a similar kind of opinions in, about politics and world views as uh, but, but as all, yourself. But, but is exactly. there because is there like a way to distribute your message to the other side? Yeah, to the other to the other side. Yeah, I know. I I mean, I'm saying I know. Um, not like I know, and I'm. Yeah, yeah. Missing the fact that that's that's you know, it's, that's an interesting and also always a challenging situation because also sometimes you don't want to necessarily deal with the people that have the extreme view the other way. Cause you know, some of them are fucking nuts, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But then some yeah. of the people, it doesn't, whichever way you go, whenever it gets totally extreme, it gets crazy, you know? Yeah. So, um, so how you deal with exposing your work to the other side is, um, I mean, I think in, in each one of my art forms, I deal with it in a different way, right? Mm. So that's what's nice about music because music, it doesn't have a side, you know what I mean? Like you, you like that, you like the way that sounds, it doesn't have a side. So it's kind of interesting because you can bring more people together. That's why music is actually, I find music very relaxing. Like sharing music to me is very relaxing. And like, I, I like the idea of getting together people for music and to hear music because that's a varied crowd. Yeah, yeah. You know? So it's it's nice because you get a broader crowd, right? So, but if I'm doing something like the Wake the Fuck Up show, yeah. then it's gonna be X, it's gonna be a certain crowd that's gonna come there. And some of those people are more, you know, like totally more, mm. like, you know, like these people who are extremely that way. I'm not that either, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, you have like, even even in the group that agrees with you, there's gradations in that group too. You know what I'm saying? And then of it's course, like yeah. it's like yeah, no, I agree with that, but I don't agree with you know that that and that. You know, so 
So I'm also like, I'm not a group person. I, it's very, very rare that I'm ever a part of any group because I always end up disagreeing at some point with something. That oh, you're like myself, that same thing. I like, I've tried to join groups and I, I just don't, don't fit in well because I think it's just independent thought. Like I, I feel like as an individual, as an individualist, I, I think one um, shouldn't uh, be in a group. I mean, because you get swayed <laughs> by groups and groups can be very functional you know what yeah. i'm saying like you know um i, I don't i don't want to kind of you know uh be dismissive of groups because i think groups are fantastic you yeah know? yeah i have been a, a part of a couple of like women's groups and things like that but um but i just know that i'm so particular and i've such such my own specific feelings about everything that i often don't end up agreeing with a group because yeah. it's that group is usually going one way or another and i'm varied in terms of my opinions yeah yeah well it's always best to i think in my opinion kind of be centrist where a logical centrist where you, you can listen to opinions on you know both sides and kind of make your form your own opinion by listening and then informing yourself um yeah. and then yeah. making your own decision yeah. and not just by you know, being, you know, uh, you know, leading by emotion through like just uh, reacting to say like a Facebook article that could be manipulated by like right. the other side. So it's like, right. Like, That's like meant to trigger you. Yeah, exactly. Which I like, both sides we've seen have fallen into the trap designed to do such things, you know? Oh my God, I watch it all the time. I'm just like, oh my God, they, like, there'll be something and I'll be like, oh no, they're all gonna go there. Then you just watch them all go there. It's just like, there's no, they, like, there's no point in me saying like, hey, everybody, you're all go. It's just no yeah. point. It's like, yeah. okay, whatever. That's the thing is that you also, I think through time and as you get older, you also realize that, um, you know, you just can't, I mean, I think I would I would like to have a wider audience right now because I think that there's a lot that I have to say and I would like to communicate it because I, I feel like it would, you know, that I can make a difference in what I have to offer. Um, so I think that that is also part of the equation. Mm. You know what I mean, I kind of like zonked out there myself for a second i was like <laughs> i was going someplace then i was going someplace else and then i started reading something i wrote it started reading something about uh like a note on my desk and i got totally distracted but i'm 100 percent here right now yeah that yeah, no worries <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um uh where I, <laughs> I don't, I don't now okay. I'm like so what, so what do we talk about so far what do we talk about we talk, well we talked about a lot of important things right yeah yeah we talked about um we talked about art and how I started out and all the kind of different art types that mm. I've done and now I have um I have an, a rotating exhibition in Tribeca uh, at 75 Leonard Street in the window there's a rotating window art exhibition so depending on what when you go by is depending on what you're going to see okay yeah so yeah. right now I have some of the I have early work that I did with Bowie mm -hmm. I uh, styled him when I was a little tot and um and then I painted on that and I really love that piece and it's in the window and then I have um, another um, window that has a picture of him and I doing double piece together, which is a really awesome photograph. And um, and I have my two songs out now. I just released cool. two songs. So that's kind of like the head where I'm at right now. Um, but you know, I mean, there and there and elsewhere as well. Any writing pieces uh, on the verge of being published or being put up? The music or? is very, you know, the music um is you know is where i'm sharing writing right now um <clears throat> i would like i'll write about certain situations and i've been actually thinking maybe i want to do like a sub stack but um but yeah the, the music has writing in it and the bowie picture has writing on it and mm. i write to describe it and 
um, yeah, it's just like it's it's writing. It's just a lot of, and I think there's going to be just be more and more of it. You know, nice. like in this next period of time, because I feel like there's a lot to talk about, and um, I'm very comfortable talking. So I guess uh, I kind of just maybe to wrap, I guess, since uh, you kind of stated that you, you kind of can see six months out, where do you see things six months out, I guess, or a future list or, you know, six months out for your work or like any uh, new ideas or um, oh, like what do you see? Headed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously things are subject to change, you know what I mean? But yeah. um, I do see, I do see myself uh, continuing to share the music and the art, getting, you know, sharing more about my concerns about COVID and, um, and starting to share the Woods experience. So I think all of those things are, you know, it's kind of all happening and it's happening in a nice way where I don't feel like, I don't feel stressed about it, you know, yeah. like, everything, like it feels like, it's, a, it's like the right time to be doing things so it feels very comfortable for me so I really like that <clears throat> because you know right now there's so many things to be stressed about so <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if you're gonna be stressed about your artwork and shit like that then you know um yeah I'm not yeah that's not what I'm gonna be stressed about so um yeah so that's that's where I'm headed I'm headed towards sharing a lot more and hopefully um you know obtaining new viewership because as you said earlier you know you want to talk to every you want to talk to more people you want to talk to all different types of people mm. so i know that through my wood series that's you know something that's very open you know and even even you know the bowie exhibition what's in the window you know all of that it's like it's 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 more open for mm anybody who could appreciate it. I, sh I actually shared it because I thought it was so much fun that I thought people would have a blast like checking it out, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's at the Development Gallery at 75 Lander <laughs> Street in Tribeca. <laughs> 75 Lander Street, Tribeca. Cool. <laughs> so, um, but uh, yeah, so I, I guess, I guess I also see myself kind of not to say that I was ever involved in politics, but like moving away from that, like really, really moving away from that in certain ways, you know mm. what I mean? Like in a more kind of um, specific way, but you know, I don't, you know, can I do that? You know, can I, can I, we'll see. It's hard. It's hard yeah. because I get so concerned about everything. So, you know, and all of a sudden it's like, and then I'll be like, well, should I run for office for something? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I don't want, like, I don't want that. I just mm. don't, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I want to be able to have an effect, but I don't want that. Like, I just don't want to. I think I just by just continuously creating and putting out there, you know, I think you're, you're making an impact as well. Yeah. Um, and this but, you is know, what... there's like there's very specific things. Like when you go to Washington and you go into meetings and things like that, you see like, okay, you're like in it there. Yeah, like you know, thing like you're inside of it. Like it's not like you're like outside, like on Twitter screaming or something, or you're doing like an artwork that's like, you know, it's like you're right there and you're talking to people that can really have an effect. So, but also you know, being in the system can also change you, and then you know, hundred yeah. percent, yeah, and also can can you know, for an artist can just dim your light. You yeah, know what I mean? it's like if I really felt like I had to, to like help my fellow man, you know what I mean? Like to move everything along and sacrifice, you know, some of my art to do that and do politics, uh, I would, you know, because yeah. that's how much I care, but I prefer not to. Hmm. Does that make sense? Oh, totally. I think like, um, you know, to make kind of more impactful change on an immediate uh, kind of basis, I think it start, has to start with like hyper community base. Like you start with the, the immediate tribe you're in and then spread out from there because you can't do, you know, if you look at the larger system, you can't do, you can't change the whole system by yourself whatsoever. But if you start by changing your hype, your, your immediate community and helping out that and, and spreading 
ideas, you know, yeah. progressive ideas through that immediate immediate community. That's how I think larger scale systematic systemic change happens. You know, yeah. Um, I mean, there's so much. There's so much that can be inspired. You know, so it's like there's so there's so much to do. There's so much work to do. So yeah. Um, you know, there's there's just so much that we can all do, really. So, so yes, we'll see. So that's that's kind of what I see. But you know, I'm also you know I'm also like you know a fluid person, and I understand that you know things change. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like one thing can change out there, and it's like oh okay, that whole thing changed. Yeah. So, now I, I guess then where should we be on? Where should we look for uh, the slow uh, the release of uh, the film? I guess like on your website or where where. Wait, but so now we're talking about the release of the film stuff. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, sorry, I just went back to just. Uh... Hey, you're obsessed with the film stuff. You like my films. You're into like you're curious about the film stuff. Well, right now, you can go to channelulcer.com, and you can go to the listen page, or you can go to the now playing page, and you can see uh, like art. You can see videos. You can see the music. You can see the music videos there. You can see like my exhibition with Bowie is on there. Writing is on there. COVID information, like everything is on there. Yeah. yeah. And um, that will kind of continue to branch out and get deeper and wider. And then also, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'll partner with people to take the film stuff further out, you know. At that point. Oh, sorry. I just, uh, you piqued my interest by not explaining. Yeah, that's okay. you know, that's the subcon, the, the psychology <laughs> thing. Yeah. And you know what? It's like, depending on who you talk, like, because I do so many different things, it's like, it's like putting out a, like a, what are those called? Like, a, like an appetizer plate, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what topic do you want to talk about? <laughs> like, if you just were interested in something else and you just talked about that, well, then we could just talk about that. But no, I, and I'm, I'm glad that you're talking about it because it's on my mind a lot right now too. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it a lot. And it's something that I, I, I really love that project. And I love the, all of the people that, um, got involved in it because it, it was there's so many different people in it and I'm so happy that um, that so many people trusted me in that way you know yeah, yeah. and um, I, I don't think that I let them I will um, let anybody down so cool I think on that you're note this black and white you're gonna turn this black and white right yeah yeah make sure you get a good contrast going there yeah I, I just <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah, generally I just edit in black and white, but that's generally the only edit I do and just toss it up and uh, I don't look at it myself. So. Oh my God, you're crazy. <laughs> a lot of people do that though. I always think that's wild. Like, I can't believe that people don't want to, I don't know, I'm like a, like a fact checker, you know, like I could put a, I could put a, like, it could take me an hour to write a stupid Instagram post. Cause I'd be like, oh, yeah. this one thing, da, 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 you know, everything has to be exactly perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It needs to be perfect. Well, I think for, for me, it's like, I have to just put it out and uh, I, I can't, if I start analyzing, I don't, Yes. if I start analyzing, nothing gets done. So it's like, right. if I start trying to perfect like my painting, <laughs> it's not me. Oh well, yeah, no, because if you start to analyze, then you start to edit it and then it turns into like a whole friggin' thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, here, people like it and right. people really enjoy the show. So it's really yeah. cool. Um, <laughs> But I, I really want to go, you know, kind of shoot again. Like I miss, you know, shooting. Yeah, being out there. Yeah. yeah. You'll get back to it. Just be patient. You know what I'm saying? It's better to be safe now anyway. Just, and you're doing this, so you got this, right? So. Yeah. And I've been painting a lot. Hopefully I, I can have a few shows soon. Oh, but uh, nice. Yeah, I love painting is, painting is, it's all awesome. You know, just getting, just expressing is, is fantastic. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, it's just fun, you know, it's like, and necessary. It's like a necessary thing for me. It's yeah, necessary. It's like yeah, hundred percent necessary. So otherwise, I don't know. But, cool. um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be trapped in, in, in my machine again, which means, uh, you know, the editing world of things. I, that's the only thing I don't like about the film series is that it kind of demands that I'm not accessible otherwise at all. Yeah. It's all encompassing. Like I can't like, so I have to be able to give myself to it. Mm. And I've done that before, but I did it for a couple of years and just banged my head against the wall. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have to be ready for another round of that. <laughs> yeah. 
um cool well i jennifer i uh i'll let you go i i'm sure you have uh, some some work to do on so many projects or whatever or you know or just yeah, or eat yeah eat is <laughs> always good <laughs> I love eating these days. That is true. That, that's I do a good... lot of eating and no exercising. <laughs> I, have, I exercise like literally two times during the whole entire pandemic. It's disgust. I feel disgusting, not disgusting enough to do anything about it, but I feel pretty not good. Yeah. Anyway, I've enjoyed talking to you though. Thank you. And um, I look forward to, you know, watching every single frame. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like analyze everything but no no, uh, no i can do that but i just <laughs> play in the background make sure the sounds right you know yeah and this is you know you can't help it when you like that you like that it's not it's nothing you can turn off cool. but um yeah fun to talk to you and I'm, I'm glad that we popped all over the place and i'm glad that we ended up on the woods because i'm really thinking about that a lot so I i'm looking forward to be like i'm so my interests are really peaked now i'm like yeah, i, I really have excited. to see what's what's going on with this project yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, i know i'm excited because I've, I've shared snippets but i've never shared meat yeah yeah a big difference between you know a glimpse and a real a real experience yeah so in any case have a have a wonderful afternoon my my hair was wet through this it's not usually this dark it's usually like that's it's all good